Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a Halloween pocket letter swap that I did with Carol Beatty. She's in Canada. Hi Carol. Um, we have did a few pocket, well a few swaps. I think we've done two. This will be our third one I think, or the second one that we've done. And so she sent hers on time and of course I was late sending mine. But she finally got it, finally, because I finally sent it off to her. And so I just want to share with you all what I received. And she sent a lot of things. She sent this nice little, uh, what is this, mailer bubble envelope. And then she sent me some cute things. And this is a little, I like this pumpkin with the little kitty cat. I think I may try to reuse that in a project next year. I know Halloween is over. But I just want to share with you all what I received. Excuse the bad lighting. Uh, I'm not at my normal location. My normal filming location. Filming location. This is a, a few tags which is cool. Um, I like this glass because I think all of them are like trees or different things and they have little drawings in there which is awesome. Whenever you all send me stuff, especially Kara, she always spells my name out. Look at this one. It's so pretty. So you can see it has this little swirl. I like these. Um, I definitely will be using some of these in a project that I'll be working on. I don't plan on doing seasonal projects anymore. I think that I'm just going to work on whatever strikes me. Like lately, I've been wanting to do Valentine's Day things. So, even though I haven't crafted in a while, um, my last my last craft project, I put it to the side with some um, some pocket letter. I have some a few more pocket letter swaps that I need to complete. This is really pretty. I like that one a lot. But I um, will probably just work on whatever strikes me she sent me this funky piece pencil which is really cool i like those i like pencils as you all know she sent me a bag of table scatter and i can use this i have a fall pocket letter that i need to work on so this will work well in the fall pocket letter she sent me another little bag of goodies which is super cool um i've had my package for a long time and I am <laughs> so happy that you agreed to do a swap with me. This bag is cute. I'm not sure where she gets her things from. I know some of the places in Canada are the same. Like the Dollar Tree, I believe. But then they have like Dollarama. Um, this is a, a pocket, a shaker. And you all know how I feel about shakers. She sent me some little envelopes. Cool. Very cool. They have little pieces I cut out on them. I feel like I'm super close in the camera, but I'm really not. And these are some cut aparts. Stay wild, moon child. That would have been cool if my mom would have named me. You know, a hippie name. Daydreamer. Wherever you go, go with all your heart. Awesome. I like all of those. I will probably hard these for a while. Maybe. I can't even paper clip stuff back. I'm so out of practice. I need to save a do some more videos, but um I haven't really been in the mood to make videos because I feel guilty for making videos when I have personal things I need to take care of like packing I need to get um, paperwork set up for moving moving is so stressful <laughs> and look at this I don't know if this is from a Michaels paper pad I think it may be I'm not sure but I didn't get this paper pad which is awesome all these things thank you so much I can definitely use in my 
pocket letter that I need to make. And look at these little um, ephemera bottle. I don't know what these are. It's pretty. Um, I like these little tags. Some sequins. All Halloween fallish colors. I think that's the beauty about Halloween. It's because, you know, Halloween and Thanksgiving are so close together where they're a month apart. But they have the same colors. So, like you can use carnacopias. This is a paper clip. Carnacopias. Um, the corn and things that you have from Halloween, you can definitely use for Thanksgiving. She sent me something personal I won't share, but she sent me these, and these are uh, cutouts, which is awesome because I've been learning from a few ladies on YouTube, and I've been looking at Pinterest, and that, you know, you can definitely use this, I guess you could put some glitter glue around here, and you can make this a, a piece in a journal. Or something like that, you know. And she, so she sent me these also, which is great. Um, I know a few listers. Says, "Hey, sweetie, mm, not sure if that's pumpkin pie or sweet potato pie." All great, but you can use this and glue it down, and then you can just have a tuck spot right there. So that is super cool. And then she sent. She wrapped everything so nicely. I am horrible at wrapping stuff, which makes me sad when I see other people's things. I'm like, oh, I need to do better. She sent me this beautiful trim. Look at this trim. It's so pretty and it's heavy, which is awesome. I'm not sure what kind of trim this is. It doesn't even matter. Um, but I do have an idea for it already. Very pretty. So thank you so much. And then it came on this little, with this inside. You can use this as, you know, you can put a label or something right there, which is awesome. Very cool. I have to move my stuff because where I'm filming at, Nicholas is right under me. And he is trying to steal stuff. So if you all have cats, you know what I mean? Well, maybe I'm the only one who has a cat burglar. So this was on the front of the pocket letter. It was wrapped. The pocket letter was wrapped in tissue. And this little deer with this little bling right here. And some more. This is so pretty. She wrote me a note. This is a tag also so um because i showed you that list the paper earlier the listing paper we can write the list down like grocery list or list so you could put this in journal so that's on the back and she wrote me a lovely note thank you carol and then here's the pocket i'll do it in three sections because something's going on with my filming that's better um on the side, it has these little witch hats. And I've never seen these hats. I'm not sure if it's indicative to Canada or not. But that's really pretty. It has this trim over here. Um, I didn't pull it apart. And then it's purple and black. Then it has Lucy from Peanuts. It says October 31st. Happy Halloween. This pumpkin is... Probably had too much pumpkin spice, right? And then googly eye, and then this cute little pumpkin witch scarecrow person. And then it has this cute little spider that says Happy Halloween. And these heels, right? These witch shoes, hey. Then this one says spooky, and it has a... Is this a black cat? No, I think that's a raccoon. Speaking of raccoons, oh my goodness, about two, three weeks ago, I went to take my trash to the trash can. We have two trash compactors, right? With a raccoon in the trash can. Um, raccoons and I, we are not friends. This ghost reminds me of one of Casper's uncles. 
but you know, only Casper is a friendly ghost. It says Halloween. Yay, and then this looks like some cool washi tape. And here's another little happy pumpkin with some um, trim or something at the bottom. And then this one, this kitty cat, he's so cute. I had a black cat growing up. And then on the back, she has definitely stuffed it full of delicious, yummy goodies to play with for next year. I'm not going to pull everything out. Some hats. It's like a bat. Some more hats and something that I think it says Happy Halloween. Or Happy Hunting, probably, because it has a G on the end of it. This little pumpkin. I like this little pumpkin. I didn't know pumpkins had arms and legs cool washi sample of course i've never seen that one this little shaker piece with some glitter the cat burglar nicholas oh i have to look at that once i finish filming these i'm going to definitely use this in my next pocket letter going out this chandelier i love this because you don't have to just use this for halloween but if you're doing a black and white thing but i think it's a crow right there i'm not sure my vision seems to be going crazy. Licorice Spice. That sounds like something that I definitely have to try out. So, um, Carol doesn't make videos yet, but she's starting to maybe make some videos one day. If not, you know, she's always there. She has a following even though she doesn't make videos, which is super cool. So, thank you all for watching. I will put her information in the description box so you can go over and check her out. I hope you have a great day. Happy crafting.